Corosil, Corosil, rust converting metal primer. The primary reason I decided to work with this stuff versus other brands is because theoretically, this stuff is non-flammable, non-corrosive, non-toxic. So there's no harmful chemicals in this thing, which makes it a lot safer for me. In fact, this stuff kind of smells like Elmer's glue. So it has this sort of non-toxic esqueness to it. One thing that makes me uncertain that this is the right product to use is that Core Seal needs surfaces that are thoroughly rusted to do its thing. And as you can see, the front of this tire, the hubcap still has some paint intact. And when I applied the this stuff on that, the painted surfaces aren't turning black. So in theory, that means the core seal isn't working. If we flip this tire over, you can see that the backside, which was a lot more rusty than the front, the core seal is working perfectly on this stuff. Everything is turning black and it's actually converting the, the metal into some other type of metal. I can't remember the name right now that will no longer rust and so when I go and paint over this I'm gonna be good for life hopefully for the life of the trailer anyway so this is just a long roundabout way of saying before you try out a new procedure on a part of a project that's very visible like say the horse trailer over there you want to do a test or two and see how something like Core Seal works and functions, whether or not that's the right choice for you. And then once you're absolutely certain that it is, then you can move on to paint your horse trailer, your sauna trailer, or beyond. So that's a pro tip. Always experiment when using new solvents and procedures because you'll be happy you did and all of your stuff will look aesthetically more pleasing. looking so good and I'm not seeing any orange spots which is good orange is bad when you're working with a rust converter because it means that something went amok look at that there's no flakiness no nothing that looks great and then there's parts where it wasn't thoroughly rusted through so here's some like old paint maybe some bare metal without rust 
and you can see where the rusty parts turned black but then the old paint just got sealed and primed and then the wheel behind it the wheel well that you see right there that's what it used to look like so it went from that to this 